facing accusations that had covered up a long-running sex abuse scandal. Archbishop Charles Capu is taking over the troubled Philadelphia Archdiocese, and the incoming leader is pledging to help sex abuse victims. And no bishop will solve any issues on his own. He needs everybody involved, uh, the laity as well as the clergy. So this is not my problem, it's our problem, it's our issue, and we'll find a way through it. Pope Benedict assigned Chapu to replace outgoing Archbishop Justin Regali. The Vatican's brief announcement attributed the move to Regali's age. The Philadelphia Archdiocese has been rocked by two grand jury reports that accuse the church of covering up sexual abuse by priests. A Monsignor is fighting unprecedented child endangerment charges for allegedly transferring problem priests, while three priest co-defendants are charged with rape. Critics accuse Regali of protecting church interests over those of victims. On Tuesday, Regali apologized for any shortcomings. If I have offended anyone in any way, I am deeply sorry. I apologize for any weaknesses on my part in representing Christ and the church worthily and effectively. SNAP, a support group for clergy abuse victims, is welcoming the leadership change, but the group's Philadelphia director says she still has concerns. Um, Bishop Chaput, we're a little bit concerned because we, we know that in Colorado, he actually fought against victims in reforming the statute of limitations, and we also know that he was not doing background checks on volunteers. We have not been able to confirm whether or not he was doing them on priests. Chapu, a conservative Native American archbishop, spent his career in the western United States. The 66-year-old will be installed September 8th. He'll lead an archdiocese of nearly one and a half million Catholics. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.